Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the Green Lantern Core Supply Drop, so let's get this party started. I already made a video about it some time ago, as sadly at this point, this video is already obsolete, so let's make a new one. So this is what the Green Lantern Supply Drop looks like. There's also a Red Lantern one and a Yellow Lantern one. Today we are going to take a look at the Green Lantern one, but I'll put a link to my previous video in the description down below. I did take a look at the Red and Yellow Lantern ones in that video as well. So where or oh, where can you get that Supply Drop? Let's take a look. So if you go see your friend Lobo in the uh, middle Washington DC map, if you scroll to Trinkets, so you'll see a few trinkets, and the three of them are the various supply drops. Here you have the Green Lantern one. So here I've switched to my Batman character, and you'll notice that there is a restriction before you can purchase the supply drop. You must complete the visible spectrum feat in order to be able to purchase the supply drop. It's the same for all three supply drops. When it comes to the Bat Boss who laugh, there's a different feat you need, the same for the Lake Score Upcling device. So the feat is the visible spectrum, you have to complete the Lantern Assistance Special Mission 12 times. Although once you do complete the feat with one of your character, you can purchase the feat using 3 replay badges with your other characters. So what is the Lantern Assistance Special Mission? So you can see the Lantern console over here, it used to be elsewhere in the map, but uh, they moved it over here, basically there's a 3 such console. That we basically we had to go all over the map to be able to click on those. But now they've moved them over here. So let's click on it. So basically we have to complete five missions for John Stewart in Death Metal Washington DC. So let us accept. So basically we would need to complete the mission for our friend John Stewart five the times. Perpetua took control of Sinestro's ultraviolet core. No matter who they serve, they're against us. Repel their forces. Although once you complete the mission 5 times, that's not the end of it. So once you complete the mission for John Stewart 5 times, you have to come back to this little console over here. It will give you an additional mission that you have to complete, and then you have to do that 12 times. So sadly in order to be able to, to complete the John Stewart mission 5 times, that means it's going to take you 5 days. So every day you will play mission for John Stewart, then after 5 days you will come here, get the, uh, the extra mission, play that extra mission, and then you, ha you have to do that 12 times. So basically it's going to take you roughly 12 weeks in order to be able to complete the feat. Obviously you could decide to use replay badges to speed up the process. So once you do complete the feat, then you can come back over here and purchase the supply drop from our friend Lobo, but it will cost you 50 death metal coins. Oh, here we have someone who got the uh, yellow lantern uh, supply drop. So once you do get and equip the supply drop with one of your characters, it should be added to your dispenser over here. So if you go to your lair, if you go to supply drops, the Green Lantern core supply drop should be added here. And you can see also it is account bound, so we'll let us pick it up. So once you have it with one of your characters, then you can use your shared bank to give it to any one of your other characters. Uh, let's break the multiverse and give it to an evil yellow lantern. So let us equip it. I uh, could have sworn uh, you would get defeat when you equip it. I guess you have to purchase it and equip it in order to get defeat. Oh well. And now you have an evil yellow lantern that can use the green lantern supply drop. So why did they not restrict it to green lantern characters? Uh, there's probably not enough uh, Green Lantern characters to justify it. Whenever they create an item, they have to make sure that as many players as possible can use it in order to justify making it. If they only make an item that just 1% of the player base it uses, uh, it's pretty much a waste of uh, manpower. Of course, you could complete the Visible Spectrum feat using uh, 3 replay badges, and then you could purchase the supply drops from our friend Lobo. I'm not sure here why it says uh, 12 times, but when you take a look at the counter, it's actually 10 times. Uh, doesn't matter. I was going to say that this was the final piece of the puzzle we needed for our Green Lantern character. But uh, actually, there's still one piece of the puzzle that we're still missing to create a perfect Green Lantern character. 
But I guess the one piece we're still missing for a perfect Green Lantern character would be to have a floating Green Lantern emblem like we have for the Stars of Fire or the Ultraviolet Lanterns. So there we go guys, so we have one more piece of the puzzle to create a pretty awesome Green Lantern character. As I mentioned, the only thing we're still missing is the emblem. If we could get the floating emblem like the Stars of Fire have, or like the Ultraviolet have, the Ultraviolet Lanterns have, and then we would have everything we need for our friend Green Lantern. I suppose we could all use, also use a Green Lantern ally. Oh well.